Welcome back. You're watching all about ads, Prime, and we're talking about the Kabaddi Leagues, not one, but two. One, the Pro Kabaddi League that we've all seen promos for, and the World Kabaddi League. Now, the question that we're really asking, why should and why are brands investing in this property? And is it on the way to becoming a well-known and well-established sports property in the future? And to discuss this further, Vineet Karnik, the National Director of Group M ESP, he handles content, sports, entertainment and of course a well-known sports journalist, Pradeep Magazine. Thank you gentlemen for joining us and let me begin with you Mr. Magazine. Is there any point of having two Kabaddi leagues? What purpose will that serve you think? I, I, I don't doubt the popularity of the sport but I, I'm just wondering whether it will be what is the kind of, uh, what's the economy of the whole thing, what's the business model, whether people are investing in it as a television show, whether they are going to get their returns, whether they are in it for a long haul, or whether there will be people, whether it's a television friendly sport also or not. From the media agency point of view, from somebody who's been tracking the leagues and sporting culture in India, how are you seeing it in the larger scheme of things? It's a sport which has grown in India and gone to the uh, gone, gone international. Right. Uh, if I get the number right, I mean we, about 32 countries play Kabaddi world over. That itself is a very significant number and the entire sporting culture in India is somewhere uh, somewhere rising and with our kind of a population, uh, we've been a predominantly a one sport nation. Uh, we definitely see uh, a role for uh, two or three more sports and 2014 possibly is the year of, of leagues and that's where uh, we believe uh, things will just uh, move up. How much this pie has really increased? If I'm not mistaken, it's almost 100% from 2008 to 2013. But in terms of marketeers, it's still going towards sporting events around cricket. Uh, let's not compare uh, the cricketing numbers because cricket obviously is, is, a, is a sport because the numbers are with the, with, with, with the sport. To me, the entire uh, economy which, which is generated through these leagues comes at a point when as a country we are ready uh, to look at alternate sports and therefore the mushrooming of the sports uh, over the next two three years uh, we will have benchmarks for it to you know uh, then possibly measure what works and what doesn't so to me it's not a media property today but it could be a media property in the years to come to us it, it's more of a more of an on-ground spectacular of sport with entertainment well packaged to it will make it successful uh, in terms of media what do you think could make something like the Kabaddi Leagues, whether one or two, a success? The parallel I can draw is with the WW. See, it, it's a kind of a very aggressive on your face event, which is hugely popular. It, everyone knows it's rigged. Yes. Despite that, it, its popularity in the youth is huge. Now, Kabaddi is also a very aggressive sport. Are they going to tweak the rules? Are, how are they going to market it? How are they going to, on ground, like how are they going to get that aggression with two teams? The, uh, different kind of loyalties, how are they going to build it. It could be a success, but success here would be very uh, relative in the sense that even if a 5%, 10% of uh, uh, market share would be success in terms of uh, Kabaddi and also I'm sure it will be a very low budget model. It won't be like IPL league where thousands of crores That's have right. been invested and even if despite its success the owners are not making money. If it's they are not making there, I'm sure in Kabaddi League I don't think anyone is going to invest at least in few years the time that they're going to make money. I think the challenge is really to keep investing in it for the next few years to be able to make it a league or establish it as a league rather than seeing the returns for whether it's one year, two years, three years, right? The second season of Hockey India League, if you have seen on television from a production point, was much better than season one, mm. which means that the league is here for a long run. IBL, Indian Badminton League, we have seen season one. We have seen world-class badminton players in the world coming and playing in India. Second season happens in Jan 2015. It's not a one-year wonder anymore. We are seeing season two, we are seeing season threes. We are pretty bullish um, that if we are able to sustain this league culture for, for three to four years, fifth year onwards, uh, we will see, we will see uh, positive uh, results in terms of revenue. So five years. Don't question it. Keep investing, keep doing good work, good content, package it with entertainment, make it worthwhile for a viewer not only to come on ground to see it, 
but also sit in his home in his comfort zone and watch it on television. It is not only about viewership. It's about building an ecosystem of sports in India. It's about infrastructure. It's about getting right people uh, as as fans and converting them into fanatics over a period of time, which will make it a television uh, friendly property. I'm sure there is enough and more uh, audience within our country who would want to uh, watch, follow and play uh, sports other than cricket. Now when we talk about this whole uh, ecosystem and we talk about the fan, where do you think we are, we are not getting it right? Generating the kind of loyalty that by now an IPL team should have generated is still not quite there. Your infrastructure in your stadiums are not quite at par with international standards. The serious problem with these leagues would be everyone has access to the best in the world. Cricket success lies that best players are playing. In IPL, you name any international cricketer, he is playing in the IPL. Will it happen with other sport? Would the football league in India compare with the quality of a, say EPL or a Bundesliga? It won't. But that, that's a tough one because th that loyalty factor is something that we have not been able to manage even in the IPL. In the IPL, if you are loyal to a team, you are loyal to not the team, you are loyal to the player. If, if, if people are fo following, say, Chennai Super Kings, they are not following because they are loyal to that. They are loyal to Dhoni. Dhoni. It is celebrity sports star led. What then happens to the other leagues? See, a badminton league, people in India still will watch because you have Saina Nehwal. Or, or you, you are getting the best of outsiders playing. Let's get back to Kabaddi. Is there an international star in Kabaddi which will straight away, like you say, okay, let me watch this from a viewership So, aspect. in fact, that, that's the premise of actually having a strong fan following. The fact that your team wins internationally, so you you know you feel loyal enough to support it. Now, uh, Kabaddi, for instance, doesn't enjoy that. However, it is pitched as a rural sport. So, what do you think would be the USP? To me, uh, it's not a comparison story. We are comparing a 50, 100 year uh, old history uh, in the West uh, with something which is just begun in India. To me, we are seeing it as more of a developmental story. And even if we are able to generate three to four homegrown stars which will go and play internationally over the next five to seven years, to me that's a great achievement I would say. Are they able to create uh, some kind of a grassroots talent uh, which comes up and maybe plays in, in the European leagues in terms of football? Are we seeing Kabaddi um, getting into households and, and comparing it with say a WWE uh, kind of a environment? These are questions which over a period of time will get answers to. You brought up this very interesting aspect of valuation of leagues. Right. Okay? So if a cricket, for, uh, uh, for instance, an IPL hasn't managed, do you see a possibility of investing in these leagues which are homegrown? Why not? So wherever he sees uh, traction in terms of building value for his money, he would invest. And that's what happened uh, with, uh, with European soccer. We definitely uh, should hope at some point in time uh, it will attract global investors. Why would a foreigner come, uh, outsider come to buy an IPL team? Uh, what does he have to buy? The grounds are not, in th even the grounds on which I IPL is being played on by the governments or by the Indian Cricket Board, it's not their private property. No profits there. The owners are not making profits. Now, hockey is a hugely popular sport in India. We have done so well. We have, we were the world champions. We were Olympic champions. For a hockey league to succeed is a huge possibility. But it will also get linked to how India does well in international hockey. Right. So there are these linkages. How do we solve those linkages? You know, I invest money in a league. But suddenly when I watch the league, I say, no, hang on, I, I can't get good players. I don't have the capacity to buy a Messi or, or, or they won't come to play this league. The money would be huge. See, anyone who's investing in a sporting property uh, does it for three reasons. One is passion. Uh, second is uh, business. And third, also, it allows you to be in the in the so-called uh, the big boys club. We are talking about valuations of league. We have IPL, which is which is seven year old. Do we have any historical data? Okay, comparing the 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 Western uh, world in terms of sports, when did they get their first investor? Four to five years or a seven year is a short window for them. To me, IPL was always a seven year window. 
So after seven to ten years window, the way things are shaping up, the way fans are being engaged, and the way the the, the sport is being conducted year on year, is going to be uh, a very very important point. We have just begun. One one big point we are missing: the kind of fan following, the kind of people we have in our country. If they start watching or supporting a sport, so it's also about building that fan community. Where does this all fit into a, a brand perspective, especially when it comes to CSR? There are far limited opportunities in in rural India compared to urban India. So ability of of a of a sports uh, lover or or a sportsman to invest time uh, in uh, in the, in that particular sport. is much higher compared to compared to an urban youth another important point today with the law passing on csr where where every corporate has to invest 2% of their profits uh, into into corporate social responsibility this becomes a complete different uh, different shift in in ability of corporates to be able to invest in invest in developmental uh, sports. sports and therefore a kabaddi therefore a football developmental program therefore a hockey therefore a, a, a badminton at a at a Development at a rural level with sco will score, so so CSR uh, could be a big game changer over the next three four years, which will throw a completely different money to be invested into into sports as a business. One last word from you, sir. Looking at the two kabaddi leagues that are coming, how do you see this going forward? So I am a skeptic in the terms of whether it will succeed or not. But it's a good thing that something like kabaddi, which is an Indian sport, is being going to be shown live on television. There is a league being created. and i wish them all the best pro kabaddi league is simulcasted on uh, on star gold which is a big point in terms of sheer reach the fact that we will have to look at the challenges that the organizers face and once those are overcome perhaps we could look at a successful kabaddi league well on that note gentlemen thank you very much for joining us thank on all about ads thank, thank you and we'll see you same time same place next week from all of us and the entire team thank you very much for watching Ding ding ding.